Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change chip hazard into link static. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today I was going to show you guys how to make uh, Link Static out of Chip Hazard. Originally I was going to use Nick Nitro for it, but unfortunately I couldn't use or I couldn't find a used uh, Nick Nitro on eBay for cheaper than 20 something dollars. I didn't want to pay 20 something dollars because I ended up finding three other toys, which was this guy, uh, this guy, and this guy for all for 20 bucks three three of these for 20 bucks so um, I thought it was a really good deal instead of buying this for like $24 I got all three all these three for $20 exact, exactly including ship, shipping because shipping was free um, so I just decided to make Nick Nitro with this or well, not Nick Nitro to make link static with uh, chip hazard instead of making them with Nick Nitro um, the reason for that was because if you guys saw my last videos you guys saw that each one uh, of the main characters um, let, me, let me just let me, let me just show you guys. okay so here's the clan right here um, I used uh, chip hazard to make a uh, meat uh, butch meat hook and then I used um brick bazooka to make uh kip killigan and then i wanted to use a nick nitro to make a, a link static um that's why i wanted to make him for a reason and not only that but if you guys look at it uh from the waist down this guy is perfect for uh uh link static uh he has the same belt same pants same little knife pocket here uh, same boots, just that his boots are black instead of this little uh, silver metal uh, tips on the boots. Uh, but other than that, it's exactly the same. All I had to do was shave all this off, shave this off, make this look like a regular arm. Uh, because, well, without sleeve, an arm without sleeves, because that's how Link Static has his. Um, that's how he is. <laughs> that's how he is. He has no uh, sleeves on his on his arms so that would have been good and he has a big chin which would have worked out a lot better too because I could all I had to do was cut the mohawk off make the little glasses and he would have looked a lot better as the uh, link static but unfortunately that's not the way it worked out like I said twenty dollars I don't want to spend twenty dollars on just one figure when I could just spend twenty dollars on three figures that's the reason why I wanted to do it but uh, being so I am gonna use another chip hazard to make link static which i think it'll work really good because this uh came out really good um I, of course i still have to shave it down a little bit just to smooth it out but um i already started drilling on this guy with the rotary machine and i just made basically muscle shapes right here uh, i based it on uh, this guy's muscles so i do still have to make a little line here to make a a, a bicep and then just cut all this stuff out and make it a lot smoother, make it look a lot nicer. Um, but other than that, he does have a little a red bandana here that's tied around his arm or his bicep, I should say. And then he has a um, a zip tie around here too. So I'll put the zip tie at the end. Um, I usually just paint my figures uh, right after I carve them off. That way, I know exactly where to fill in or what to smooth it out. Like if you guys could see there. I had to smooth in all that stuff. I could fill in all this, fill this in, and cut this. That way I know exactly how it's gonna end up or turn out. I did start chopping this part off too. Uh, I'm gonna cut this off, this off, this whole piece off, and then uh, start molding his face, and then start molding the rest of this to match um, Link Static, and then take this off, put a pocket over here, and then we should be good. So without any further ado, uh, let's get into it and uh, start making Link Static.
Alright guys, so all I did basically is just smoothing everything out. You guys saw that there was a bunch of gaps in here. There was a bunch of gaps everywhere. So I just tried to smooth out his biceps, make it look a lot smoother than it originally was. Uh, same thing with this side. I had a big old gap there, so I had to fill it in and smoothen it out. Same thing here. And then I just bit the bicep, so now it looks like a like a sleeveless uh, shirt on him. So there you go. So now I'm gonna fill these two holes in and uh, continue on. Okay, so I'm trying to fill in the the little gaps that it has here, the little holes. Uh, originally, I'll fill in the whole chest because you've seen the chest is completely hollow inside. Uh, I'll fill it in with like Play-Doh and stuff like that, but I don't have any Play-Doh. And I just figured I'll just layer one layer on top. And if I still have like a hole on it, I'll just wait until it dries up and then put another layer on top so it could hold, you know, completely smooth. Um, as far as the stuff that I use to smooth this guy out, it's... Uh, I use hand sanitizer, but you could also use alcohol, but if you use alcohol, you, you get all the smell and then you start getting high off the smell and you know, you lose a lot of brain cells. I really don't feel like doing that. <laughs> so I usually go with uh, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer works a lot better and you, you, it doesn't have that smell. Uh, there's a little smell in it, but it's not as, it's not as bad as alcohol. So. Sorry, I thought I'd just throw that noise in there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so right here it's completely dry. This is the next day, so it's dry, so I could fill in the rest of it and make it a lot smoother, make his chest a lot smoother without any holes or gaps or anything. So it worked out pretty well. It was just putting the collar all around. Sorry, everybody, but uh, unfortunately, uh, the battery died off my other camera, so I had to switch cameras. I didn't even realize it until I I stopped uh, um, sculpting this uh, part of the thing. So all I did was just put a collar around it, and just mushed it down, basically. Yeah, and that's basically it. And then this part right here. Um, I am gonna wait for the pockets to, or this part of the pockets to dry up. And that way I could put the pockets over these things. And uh, so for now, I think that's it for this guy I don't want to work too much on it all at once because I've learned my lesson and the lesson is that once I start working on this I'm gonna end up touching all this and I'm gonna screw it up I already know I am so uh, I'm just gonna leave it here like this for now and I'm gonna start a different character then I'll come back to this as soon as this is dry and then I'll start sculpting the face and I'll do the buttons, and I'll do the pockets, and then I'll do the face. So, um, I just need to cut off the eyebrows, because I don't want two different layers of eyebrows. So I just uh, simply take it off with the, with the blade. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And so I could layer the other eyebrow on top of his, um, his forehead. Uh, I just make little slits on his mouth because um, Link Static has a big old smile, so I had to cut that off. And also his lips are too big, on Chip Hazard's too big, and uh, Link Static has a lot thinner lips. And in order for me to shape him the way I want it, I had to cut off his lips. So it's just basically um, putting the epoxy on the places where I need it. Um, Link Static had big cheeks, or like roundish, roundish sheep, uh, sheep's, <laughs> yeah, sheep's, uh, rounded uh, uh, cheeks. So I had to put some epoxy on the cheeks. Uh, the eye shapes were completely fine, so I just left the eye shapes the way uh, uh, Chip Hazard had them. So the eye, sh the eye shapes were perfectly fine. It, it works for uh, Link Static as well. So this is one of the eyebrows, it took forever to stick to the actual character. When you use epoxy and it's really thin like this, it's really hard to use. 
uh, the best way to do it is when it when you let it dry off a little bit let the epoxy dry off for like probably like an hour and it's a lot easier to mold and shape because it it, it 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 doesn't break as easily uh, these are just the buttons uh, one thing that I hate about using black epoxy is that you guys can't really see when I'm filming you guys can't really see what I'm doing in person I could see clearly what I'm doing but in the video it doesn't really pick up the black so um, that's why I really don't like using black epoxy but um, yeah anyways so this is me doing the bandana well he has like a hat or or a helmet like green helmet underneath like the whole sculpt thing so that's what this was and there's a little sculpt there's the ears that well not the ears this is like the the earphones that he has on um it's part of the helmet and then um as you guys saw i forgot to tell you that i only did i did two pockets originally on his chest but he only had one pocket so i had to take out the other pocket um i didn't catch that until like afterwards so there's the beginning of the helmet a little sculpt that he has on his that lays on his uh forehead and just shaping up the rest of his um his helmet um so yeah the, what i like to use is uh, hand sanitizer to smooth it out at first i just when i first started using epoxy what i did is to sand everything out um, i still stand some things here and there but uh, in order to smooth out epoxy, I rather use uh, a hand sanitizer. It makes it work a lot better. So you don't have to sand too many things at the end. So, you know, you live and you learn. So the more, the more you deal with these things, the more you learn how to, how to um, work stuff out for your benefit. So yeah, the helmet was a pain in the butt to do. Um, I had a bunch of detail. I couldn't figure out what the back of his head looked like. I had to search and search and search. So I finally found out that there's a bunch of like little cables or something behind his head. Um, this is the bandana he has wrapped around his arm. You guys can tell that it's painted. What I like to do is paint my stuff. Uh, right after I, I shape it and form it, I like to paint it just to see what it's going to look like. Because I'm a visual person, I like to see what it's going to look like. And then um, you could tell all the mistakes that you've done and the stuff that you need to correct after you paint it. That's why I like painting it right after I, I mold it or it dries off. Don't paint it while, before it dries off, of course. You can't paint the epoxy before it dries off because it's going to mess up the epoxy. So, um, yeah. So this is the arm. I'm trying to paint the arm to see if everything looked out smooth and stuff like that. Uh, there were still some little bumps here and there so i had to go back again and fill it in with some epoxy and smoothen that all out once once more but uh overall it, it turned out pretty well if i do say so myself not to toot my own horn but <laughs> anyways uh this is me painting the face uh the face is the most hardest thing to do obviously um but i like the way the face turned out uh there's still a little blemishes here and there that i want to fix up and i will fix up sooner or later but um i just wanted to get this this guy done and over with so i could put him with the rest of the with the rest of the clan of the click the rest of the um commando elite uh this is the earpiece or the microphone that he has i just uh, dried up some epoxy in the shape and then just smoothed it out with the X-Acto knife or with a knife or blade or whatever you want to call it box cutter and so on and so forth whatever you guys call this and just glue it on simply like that and the last thing I'm going to do is paint the helmet um, the helmet was a little light green from the pictures that I saw the helmet was light green and then the rest of it was uh, like a metal looking helmet these are just the camouflage uh, things that he has in his shirt little polka dots <laughs> so yeah anyways if you guys have any questions you guys want me to answer uh, leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think of this whole build um, it took me forever to edit this thing so I apologize 
um, but like that's why I like to do the reviews first and then do the how to uh, video afterwards so you guys could see what it looks like and then I'll show you guys how you make it and this is the pattern for the pants and we just make the same pattern throughout the whole pants and you will be done with this character well well wait wait a minute wait the last thing I said we we're gonna do for this guy would be the zip ties and so let's put on the zip ties on this guy so we could be done all right guys so we are completely done with this guy he is finished finite and there he is his helmet made his arm to make him look like an actual arm there's the back of him side view the front the other side view And he is done and now he could join the rest of the crew commando elite is complete so if you guys enjoyed this little episode please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace